Hi guys. Um, so uh, in this video, I'm going to do a little bit about the deformation of, of line bundles. Um, all right. So deformations of line bundles. Okay, and in this talk, I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to conflate um, line bundles and invertible sheaves. So I'm just going to use the same thing, and I'm not going to care about representability. So uh, line bundles technically are uh, invertible sheaves, right, where uh, morphisms really come from, or, 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 um, which are where the sections of the sheaf really come from uh, morphisms for, of schemes. All right. Um, we're, okay, so here, here's the setup. So we're going to take um, A to be a ring. Commutative ring. Uh, we're going to take A prime uh, to be a square zero extension uh, of A. So here we're going to take, you know, uh, A, the surjective map like this, uh, where the kernel squared is going to be equal to zero. Okay, so we're going to take a, a scheme X. Uh, it's going to be a scheme over A, and then we're going to fix a deformation uh, scheme over uh, A prime. Okay, so this is X prime is going to be a deformation of um, X over A to the ring A prime. Um, you can see the video on deformations uh, if you haven't if you haven't seen this. Um, all right, uh, so. So uh, I want to I want to introduce some things. Um, so first, um, I, I need to tell you what a deformation of a line bundle is. Uh, so again, so we're going to have to have L. So this is going to be the category of line bundles on uh, X. Okay, and so a deformation of uh, from uh, X to X prime of L. So this is going to be a category again. So a category, but I'm going to write it as a set. I'm going to define, identify this with, with the objects. Um, so this is going to be pairs of alpha L prime, um, such that, uh, well, we have um, F star L prime, and we're going to fix an identification here of L, like so. Uh, I need to say what F star is. Uh, F star here is, so we have this deformation of X over A, and so uh, given a deformation, right, so what, did, what was the deformation? So, um, so we had uh, A, so we had spec A here, and we had a closed immersion into spec uh, A prime, and here uh, we had X prime, and we had, and, and the idea was that uh, 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 we had a base change so that that uh, sorry this is X so that X could be obtained by base changing via this map here so we're given this map we're given F and this F allows us to identify um, X with the base change of uh, X prime to a um, so that's all we have so we have this so so now given a line bundle here we can pull it back uh, to a line bundle here and the the alpha here says that those two things are isomorphic. That the pullback and L are isomorphic. Okay, so I need a little bit of notation. Uh, so a little bit more notation. Um, so let I be the kernel of this map. And uh, let J uh, be the structure sheaf, so J is going to be um, uh, the kernel of this map here. Um, another way to say this is that uh, J, uh, so let's take this to be a flat deformation, uh, and then um, here J is, is just going to be equal to I times uh, O of X prime. So that means that this thing here is really isomorphic to this modulo this. Okay, so now now the theorem. Um, 
the theorem. Uh, so there exists a certain special class. So first of all, so there exists a, a very special class um, called the obstruction to lifting that lives in H2 of uh, X and then uh, 1 plus J. Uh, and it has the property that um, this class vanishes uh, if and only if uh, the deformations are not empty. Uh, so uh, the deformations of the line bundle to X prime, um, I, I'm also going to remark that, that sometimes I'm going to call deformations lifts. So like the lifts of the line bundle to X prime are not empty. Okay, and secondly, um, so if the obstruction vanishes, All right. Then, okay. Then there exists a deformation, and uh, the deformations of this uh, modulo isomorphism are a torsor uh, under uh, H one of the same thing. So this is the statement here. The statement is that we have a cohomology class which tells us when we can deform a line bundle and that when this cohomology class vanishes, we essentially know what all the deformations are. All right.